Yo, what's up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton. A very quick tip. This one's on curved fades for volume or velocity control inside of Ableton 8. Uh, Ableton 9 has a new feature which is super dope as far as I understand and that's um, curved automation lines. So here I am in Ableton 8 and I want to adjust the attack on this compressor and it's just for you know demonstration purposes. But um, I can only do it with this rigid fashion that I'm doing it here or I can do it with the pen tool which is even you know more rigid but this is the best I can do Ableton 9 will allow me to curve those lines for any automation purposes but if you're still in Ableton 8 and you want to have a curved automation line for your volume control you come in down to this Dropbox and hit fade and this will allow you to to fade in the audio so that's pretty cool and you can adjust uh, parameters you know what I mean you can do a, a bunch of stuff here you can make it very quick or very uh, very uh, you can make it very quick or you can make it longer you can make it over the, the course of the whole song so I mean yeah, it's just some something to know I didn't know about this for a long time but I was just watching a different tutorial and I saw the guy using it and I figured I'd share that with you uh, just in case you didn't know about it too but anyway Ableton 9 will be able to do this sort of same curvature of the automation lines for for any automation not just the velocity anyway I hope that helps peace <laughs>